Hi, I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I practice as oncosurgeon and laparoscopic surgeon in Apollo Spectra and Sakra group of hospitals. So, rectal bleeding can be a painless bleeding or a painful condition associated with a pain in the rectal area. So, we have to see how this bleeding is happening. If it is a painless bleeding and large quantity of blood coming from the anal canal, then we think it may be bleeding from some ulcer or tumor in the rectal area. Next is the hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids also patient can have a lot of bleeding. After you pass motion, patient will have drops and drops of blood coming out. So third condition is fissures in the anal canal. So multiple ulcerations or a single ulcer in the anal canal can also manifest with bleeding in the rectum. But in fissures, the bleeding is associated with a severe pain and the blood is merged with the motion itself. That means there is a blood sitting on the motion because as the hard motion rubs on the anal canal, the ulcers uh, bleed on the motion itself. So, and uh, these patients are mostly severely anemic and they do require complete evaluation. First, you do a local examination to check, just dilate anal canal and see if you have a anal fissure present. If the anal fissure is present, we normally don't do proctoscopy because it can be very painful. So, we can do a sigmoidoscopy in these patients. Then, if there is a painless bleeding, then we can do a digital rectal examination in uh, these patients and see if there is any tumor or any hemorrhoids present and then we can also do proctoscopy to see if there are any hemorrhoids present when we do proctoscopy.